This video is a demonstration of the administration of the TAMPA, an assessment used by occupational therapists to evaluate upper extremity performance in a range of tasks that are representative of daily life. This tool was primarily developed for people of 60 years of age and older, and normative data are also available for adults of ages 20 and older. The TAMPA demonstrates good test-retest reliability, meaning that results are consistent and stable over time. It also shows good inter-rater reliability, which indicates consensus of the scores by different examiners. It has high validity, meaning that it measures what it was designed to measure. For each of the evaluated tasks, the therapist will demonstrate and the client is allowed a trial before proceeding to performing the task. There are four unilateral and five bilateral tasks in this test. For all unilateral tasks, the client is required to repeat the tasks with both hands, starting with the dominant or non-affected hand. However, in this video, each of those tasks will only be demonstrated with the unaffected hand. The examiner sits beside the table at 90 degrees to the client. Before each task, the client must rest his or her hands on the table in front of the assessment, waiting until the examiner gives the signal to begin. At the end of the assessment, grip strength is assessed using a JMAR dynamometer. Scoring system. The client's performance is scored based on three measurement criteria, speed of execution, functional rating, and task analysis. For the speed of execution, the stopwatch is started as soon as the client's hand leaves the table and is stopped when the task is completed. The functional rating refers to the client's independence in each of the tasks using a four-point scale. A score of zero is attributed if the client is able to successfully perform all tasks without difficulty or hesitation. Minus one if the client is able to complete the task with some hesitation or difficulty. Minus two if the client is able to partially complete the task or if certain steps are executed with major difficulty. Minus three is attributed if the client cannot complete the task. Task analysis quantifies the difficulties experienced by the client on the five main sensory motor abilities of the upper extremity. Active range of motion, strength, precision of gross motor movement, prehension, and precision of fine motor movement. These are all scored on a four-point scale ranging from zero to minus three. Please refer to the instruction manual for more thorough description of the scoring system. I want to evaluate how you use your arms in some daily activities. I am going to ask you to do a few tasks and before each task, I will demonstrate it to you. Before doing the task, you will have a chance to practice. I am going to time how long it takes you to do each task and at the same time, I will be watching to see how you do it. I can help you if you need assistance. After each task, I will take a few seconds to write my observations on my sheet. Some of the activities must be done twice, once with the right hand and once with the left. The other task will be done using both hands together if you can do it. Finally, I will measure the strength of your hand and your muscular endurance with this instrument. Do you have any questions? No. With your left hand, pick up this jar and put it down here, right in the middle of the shelf. You may practice if you wish. Are you ready? Yes.
Keep your hands on the edge of the table until I say go. Go. Now do the same thing with the other hand. Using whichever hand you prefer, pick up the jar of coffee that is here and open it. Then take the spoon that is in the cup and remove a spoonful of coffee. Put the spoonful of coffee into the cup, close the jar, and put it back in its original position. You may practice if you wish. Are you ready? Yes. Keep your hands on the edge of the table until I say go. Go. With this hand, pick up this pitcher that has been filled with water and fill this glass about three quarters full. Then put the pitcher on the table, pick up the glass and touch your chin with it. Then put the glass back on the table. You may practice if you wish. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Now do the same thing with the other hand. Pick up this key like this and open the cabinet like this. Leave the key in the lock, pick up the pill container, open it, take out two pills and put them on the table. Then close the container, put it on the table. You may practice if you wish. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Pick up this pen and write the words Bell Canada in the middle of this envelope. Then take this stamp and stick it in the right hand corner. You may practice on a sheet of paper or begin right away on the envelope. Are you ready? Yes. Go.
Pick up this scarf, unfold it, put it around your neck, and then tie it using a simple knot. Try to keep your head as straight as possible while you are doing it. You may practice if you wish. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Pick up this deck of cards and remove the rubber band. Shuffle three times like this and deal five cards in front of you. Then put down the rest of the deck and pick up the five cards one by one. You may practice if you wish. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Using this hand, pick up these coins one by one, beginning with the dollar, and put them in the slot here. You may practice if you wish. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Now do the same thing with the other hand. Pick up these objects one at a time with this hand and put them in the dish starting with this one and finishing with this one. You may practice if you wish. Are you ready? Yes. Go. Now do the same thing with the other hand. 